Welcome back to Satisfactory, folks. In the last episode, we set up our first few oil generators or fuel generators. And in between episodes, I've set up three more. So we now have a capacity of 3,300 megawatts of power. And since I just don't have the materials to build more right now, we are going to chance it and run back to the factory and see if we can't hook it up and get our production going again. So see you in a second, guys. All right, so we have made it back to the factory and all we need to do to see if we have done enough to be able to power it up is hook these two power lines up. And we have not. Dang it. Okay. That's enough. Okay. So, yeah, we need to make more. We need to make more power. All right, fair enough. I guess I will go and get some stuff and go and build some more fuel generators. So yeah, if I can, I'm not actually sure that I can. Uh, yeah, well, uh, it's a trying time at the moment, but we'll figure it out somehow. But I'll uh, head back to the oil area and get some more fuel generators set up if I possibly can. So see you in a few guys. All right, we have production. Everything is going well in this building anyway. So what I have done is I basically disconnected this entire building over here. And I've done that because the, the only way it's hooked up is through that power cable over there, which you can kind of see. And it goes down there, and I've disconnected it down there. So there is no power going to this building right now at all. Which means that we are now producing. So we are pro using 800 and something, 900 uh, megawatts out of our 3,300 capacity. But I had to do that because I need more screws, and I was totally out of screws. So I am going to let all my screw machines fill up here. They are working on it. And then I will run over to the oil setup once we have some more screws ready. And then we will build some more oil over there. So see you in a few guys. So I ended up not going back and building more fuel generators because I decided I wanted to try something. So this is where all power comes into this building. This building is where we have our pub upstairs and we are producing uh, reinforced uh, industrial beams and stuff like that. So here we are producing, uh, what are they called? We are producing steel beams, and over there we are producing pipes. So what I ended up doing, you can see here that we have plenty of power right now. No worries. And we can spike up to more than the 3900 megawatts if everything is going. But what I simply did was I we just pulled this out. And because I had decoupled all of these... Yeah, power lines and what I simply did was I hooked them up one by one letting them go for a little bit then hooking up the next one and then hooking up the floors above and that basically solved the power problem because we started everything up in in sections and 
not everything had to power up immediately at the same time and start producing a lot at the same time and so on. So yeah, that solved our power problems and now we are absolutely fine. So that's great. Of course, we will have to go and build more, but for right now, we are producing in, and that is fantastic because we need the reinforced industrial beams to upgrade all our lines to Mach 4 belts, and we also need to move on and start producing the next set of items. So b before we start building anything, Let's just run over to our hub here and have a look because I believe we do have a hard drive that is done. So let's check on that. Yes, we do. So we have an alternate blueprint for wire, iron wire. We have an alternate blueprint for cable. So let's see, the standard recipe is two wire turning into one cable this one is three wire and two rubber turning into 10 cable producing 75 a minute instead of 15 a minute that is a big upgrade over here we can go from 45 per minute to 67 and a half per minute but we'll we'd have to use iron and i don't think i want to use iron for that because we're using iron for a lot Next, we have an alternate blueprint for computers, which is very interesting. So instead of circuit boards, cable, plastic, and screws, we just need circuit boards and crystal oscillators, and they produce faster as well. I think we're going to grab the alternate blueprint for computers. That seems really good to me. Uh, let's see, I don't have any more computers on me. I do think that we have one or two computers more, maybe. Uh, or uh, hard drives, we have one hard drive more. So let's stick that in here and get that unlocked. A little save lag there. And then, uh, and then uh, analyzing that. That is a really hard word for me to say. And let's see. So so what is the next thing that we want to start building? Let's... We don't have enough to build a manufacturer. Basically don't have enough to build anything. So let's grab... Well, we need some of these. And we need some rotors. And now we can build an assembler. So what? So why can't we make the computers in here in the assembler when they only need two parts for our alternate recipe. That's a bit weird to me. That is a bit weird to me. So we have encased industrial beams being made. We basically have everything being made here, except for the circuit boards and the black powder. Those circuit boards could be a thing but we need plastic for that and i am not gonna pull uh what are they called the conveyor belts all the way from the oil area over here so in order to get that going i think we need to unlock trains which means that i need to handcraft a lot of um uh, what are they called? Those things. Heavy modular frames, they're called. And a lot of computers, but we could actually... We could set up the heavy modular frame production. We just need to make some computers to make 
manufacturers. And some heavy modular frames as well. But that is going to be our next project, I think. Setting up making heavy modular frames. So then the question becomes, where do we want to do that? Where do we want to do that? And I'm not actually sure. So I don't think I want this building to go up any higher. So I'm not sure, maybe go up one more floor. We'll go up one more floor. I actually really want this output to get stored in a container of some sort. Let's can't build an industrial as I'm lacking some pipes, but we can get pipes. There we go. And now we can build an industrial storage container, which I will do for now, just right here. Get this going in. Because I want to store up as many of these as I can. Right. Because we're going to need a lot. And I mean a lot. So I think we'll build this building one floor higher. And start making the encased industrial or the heavy industrial frames. Or what are they called? Heavy modular frames. I think that's going to be the plan. But we do have another project that we need to consider, and that is utilizing our storage down here, because right now, all that's being stored is cable, wire, and motors. These guys are not hooked up whatsoever, and I think I want to do that. So this one is pipes. That one is nothing yet. Uh, reinforced iron plate and modular frames. So. Let's have a look down here in the spaghetti floor. And see. We want rotors stored up. We want, I don't think I want screws stored up. Don't really care about that. And over here we have some wire coming along. We have motors being stored. So yeah, our rotors are Coming over here, going up. And they are coming up here for this production. And I guess we will get them. Let's see, they are stopping here. What, what are these guys making? You're making wire, or you're making cable, actually. Well, that's all good. So I want these, the excess rotors that we have to come out and down. And go on to our spaghetti floor. So that we can... Store up some rotors as well. So how many rotors are these using a minute? 10. And we have how many machines? I think 10 as well. 
One, two, three, four, five over there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So that's a hundred rotors a minute that we're using when it's going. And a hundred rotors a minute, which we are producing where? Where are we producing rotors? I think we're producing rotors down here. I think this is the rotor production. No, that's stator production. That's rotor production. We're producing six a minute per machine. And we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Uh, 14, 16, 18 machines producing them. So 18 machines times 6 is uh, 60, it's 120, it's 108. We have a few rotors in excess. We're overproducing just a few rotors, eight rotors a minute we're overproducing. And that's fine. That's fine. So what we're going to do is come up here. I'm gonna tear out this wall and make it a Wall conveyor. Well, first I need to get out here. Let's tear out that wall as well. Put a wall conveyor in here. And then we'll just put down a foundation. Oh, I am out of concrete, more or less. And we need, we need to go upstairs this working properly right we can do that and we actually need some concrete I can grab that from the top floor or I can grab it right here we have concrete coming along here oh I can't get in <laughs> uh, here I can grab some concrete let's just grab like 50 concrete or something That should be enough. Go there. Let's get out. And come up here. And we basically just need uh, Mach 1 conveyor belt. This, so I'm going to need some iron, I think. Come over here. Come over here. And like this. I think that's right. Right? Looks right. Uh, let's stick a thing in here. And we need a conveyor lift. Right there. Perfect. And we need to get back downstairs. And then we almost have rotors being stored up now. Well, that's good. We actually didn't need this. Stick in a wall again. Now we need our rotors to come over here somewhere. See, we have four. Uh, 
Do we have the ability to... I think they're going to have to be upstairs. Because these are what? Well, that's our old storage things, I think. Yeah. So, what if we... Let's tear these out. And put in some two wall conveyors. Maybe just a one here. All right. Let's put a foundation in there. And they need to come up to here. So that needs to be a one conveyor wall there and then two conveyor walls there and there. There are our containers. So what we can do is it's the third one that was for rotors I think because that was empty. So that's for rotors. And actually, that's not for rotors. Uh, one, two, three. That's for rotors. All right. And then we just need to get them from all the way over there to all the way over here. And that is going to be on Mark 1 belts. Let's see, we'll do this. Is that straight? That is straight. Then we will stick in a conveyor pole stackable. Bag. Let's stick it in here. And then we will stick one in here. And get this going across. Wow. Flying. Come on. There. All right. There. I actually don't want it going that way. I want it going the other way. There. To there. 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 And then come down as fast as possible, I think. More or less. Something like that. Is that about the same distance as the other side? I think it is. And I think we're going to need more, we're going to need more uh, iron plate. Yeah, we can't afford. There. There come the rotors and I am going to run over and get some more iron plate. Which we also need to get over here and stored up somehow. Whoops, I need to go downstairs, not up. Let's just grab a few hundred iron plate here. I'm actually surprised that I don't need more iron plate than this uh, at the moment. I'm sure I will eventually, but I am a little bit surprised that I just need the one row of machines making those still. That is not straight whatsoever. Let's conveyor belt. Yeah. 
there. It is a spaghetti floor, right? So it's okay that it's not totally accessible, you might say. Let's bring you over. To yes, here. Is that right? That looks right to me. All right, and here comes the rotors snailing along. And if we go upstairs, we can get them stored up somehow. I can get out of here, which I can. Right. And it's this one that we want. Yep. Which is perfect. So conveyor belt over there. And as soon as the rotors get here, they will start being stored. Good, good, good. So that's rotors, motors. Wire, cable, then we need modular frames here, reinforced iron plate there, and pipes there. Alright, let's go check on the hard drive that we uh, set to be analyzed. Let's have a look here. Okay, alternate blueprint for Caterium wire. That's pretty good. Alternate blueprint for Nobelisks. Let's see, normally it's five uh, black powder five steel pipes and one beacon for nobelisk we can instead do 10 black powder 10 steel pipes a crystal oscillator for three nobelisks and that produces four and a half a minute instead of three per minute then we have the concrete so limestone and a silica. So that would produce 22 and a half per minute instead of 15 per minute. I think I'm okay with the standard concrete recipe. And I don't really want to use Caterium to make regular wire, so I think we'll grab the Nubilisks. Okay. Now Let's see, we did bring back some mycelia, so let's stick that in and start analyzing that. All right. And you get back in there. How long was that, was that gonna take? Uh, five minutes, not too bad, not too bad. So, yeah. Let's see, have we started storing up? Yes, there they, the first ones come. And we are storing up some rotors now. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so we have made a little bit of progress. Our factory is running again, which is great. And we are starting storing up some rotors as well. We need to get the rest start started on storing up as well and then in the next episode we are going to start working towards making heavy industrial uh, well, heavy module frames they're called yeah so next episode we will start working on heavy modular frames uh, one floor up from here and hopefully We'll do that without uh, killing our power again. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.